去了。<笑>Pretty much, we were at three, and we were like, "We need four. I remember Phil saying to me, "You know, Deb, Will is like insane. You know, a singer, and and、um, you know, he comes from this family in Boston as well that they're all singers. They're just unbelievable." I had this idea, <laughs> and I was like, "Man, I wonder how everyone would feel about this." Because me and Will at that point were chilling all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, it's like, so cool. Like me and Will just hung out all right, the time. Right, and right. I remember calling April. Calling Debbie and both of them were just like, "Yo,、oh, bet." So I didn't, yeah, honestly, like, I didn't think Will would do it. No, no. Right. I was actually honored. Yes, <laughs> to, to be down. Secretly, I always wanted to be a part of it. <laughs> Our dad instilled in us a, a heart of worship. Five o'clock in the morning, every, every morning, every, every morning, every, every morning. Yeah. He would wake us up for what we call devotion. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on! Time to praise, to praise the Lord. Praise come on, Lord. come on! Let's、yeah. praise the Lord. And my dad would be up, jumping, <laughs> worshiping. Oh yeah. His his yeah. favorite expression when he got, got into the room. <laughs> attitude. When you were like when you were like leaning against the wall, like he was like, "Come on, y'all! Attitude, attitude of worship. worship. Attitude. attitude of worship." <laughs> Let's go. Right, right. The model of our church is a church without walls.、Yes. You know, we're one body. When we go out and minister other places, we feel like we're still with the church. You know, it's a church without walls. We're all worshiping one God, and we we all love Him. We grew up in this area of Dorchester around this big train station called Ashmont Station. So it's called Ashmont Hill. Will was like, "What about Ashmont Hill?" Yep. That's kind of cool. And so that's. Even how we got the name, you know. What is the depth and the meaning behind? <laughs> like, like they're waiting, like they can't wait, and we're just like, sorry, the name sorry, all. That's yeah, where we grew, grew up. up. <laughs> And as we were coming in, writing the song, we knew we wanted to write a song about the cross. We had some cool chords and some cool progressions, but the the lyrics weren't quite flowing that day. And、um, so I just kind of stepped stepped outside of the studio that we're in right now. And as soon as I stepped outside the studio, the word masterpiece just popped in my head, and I saw a, a vision of of a cross on this. Antique frame, like like an antique fr- frame surrounding it, and I just ran back into the studio and was like, "Yo, Zenzo, masterpiece!" <laughs> and he was just like, "Yo." <laughs> So fast after、yeah. that. After we wrote it, it was like we both sat back and was like, "Man, this is something." And、yeah. I couldn't wait to show it to you guys.、Yeah. Like, oh man, this this is something different about this song. So. He sang it because it just—I I don't know if it was right after he wrote it, but it, he had such a passion. And 
right away I was like, wow, this is going to be something so powerful. Just the words, the way they painted a picture, even how they're saying you painted, it painted a picture. And we knew it was going to do that for, you know, whenever someone heard the song, it was just going to paint that picture of what, you know, what Jesus did for us. And that's just the ultimate love, this, the ultimate selfless love that we can never even explain or imagine. King, you paid it all. <laughs> whenever we minister to your masterpiece, it's, it's probably one of the most intimate songs, one of the per most personal songs for me, because it reminds me of that night I, when I was in my own, my bedroom. That, I got saved in my bedroom, and it reminded me of why I got saved. Just, I finally found that love that I had been searching for, that and that void that I had in my heart was finally filled. And um, so this song just brings me back to that moment whenever we minister, and um, just being able to look out to the congregations and the audiences that we're able to share with, and see this young people and older people just with lifted hands and to see them sing these lyrics, it just really, just, it touches me in a special place. Think of the love of God it, it's it's it, it you can't yeah. it's immeasurable you right. can't even you can't capture yeah. his love for us his 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 devotion for us and that's what that song does we were recording the song your masterpiece at um our producer sat all various um, studio in nashville um I remember even when April was in the booth doing, you know, her part and when I was doing my part, we were just getting really choked up because you just, you you know, we turned out the lights and we just, you know, had this real intimate time. Just, we love how he moves so much in, in the studio process. Turn me around. Thank you so much for supporting us. We're just so happy to talk to you. and. Thanks for the opportunity. Okay. And tell your church, we need to have Ashburn Hill come because we would love to come and just, you know, have this time, this worship experience with you guys. We just want to thank everybody for just supporting us. And, you know, we, we, we don't take it for granted that we have an opportunity to travel and just minister and share God's word. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we love what we do. God has given us um, an important message yeah. to share, and we want to make sure that it's out there. So, hey! hey. Hey, 